I'll be talking about the sandwich package, what it does, and how it relates to EDEV. So what is causal inference and how does EDEV relate? It's the practice of determining cause and effect relationships from data. And in order for causation to be found, we need to insert, ensure certain assumptions in the data are true. And often EDEV is this preliminary step. For example, a linear regression assumes a linear relationship, independence between residuals, uh, homoscedasticity, meaning the residuals are have a constant variance, and that the residuals are normally distributed, all of which we can see through EDEV. However, this isn't always the case. Um, we, so when we these assumptions aren't met, we cannot use a, an OLS estimator. Uh, for example, when the correlation between residuals uh, and when we have heteroscedasticity, uh, we need to find another way to uh, find a sample variance. And a way to do this is the um, sandwich package is another way to compute the sample covariance or a covariance estimator. It's called sandwich because it uh, takes the OLS estimator and sandwiches it between two estimators to help reduce the variance by capturing the variability in the data. Um, and this works if you think about the heteros heteroscedasticity uh, uh, in the previous slide, where it reduces the influence of the points that are farther away from the axis, and this will uh, minimize the amount they have, the impact they have on R squared. And what's really great about this package is its functionality. It's super easy to use and it can be fitted to models such as LMGLM, ServReg, MLogit, Polar, and other modeling packages in R. Here, is, here you can see how it's calculated and you can see how it gets the name sandwich where it takes the sample variance in the middle there and it's the meat and it's uh, multiplies it by the two other estimators which we call a bread which are the, just the derivatives of the, uh, the partial derivatives of theta um, and makes the estimator heteroscedasticity consistent. Um, and there, there are other variations of the sandwich estimator so which leads to all these different um, Pack, uh, functions in the package. And the main ones that you, you uh, will typically use are the, the VCOV HC, which will deal with the issue when they're, uh, the only issue in the data is that the heter there's heteroscedasticity. And then the VCOV HAC will deal with the issue when there's both heteroscedasticity and independent, uh, um, the variables aren't independent. Um, and then here's a, simple uh, implementation of the sandwich package. You can see I'm just taking two different tests here uh, and I wanted to see the summary statistics from both the uh, non-treated uh, group for a difference in difference and one where I take into account the heteroscedasticity. And here I use HC0. That's just the way the estimator is calculated. It goes from HC0 to HC3. HC, HC3 has been found to be uh, performed best with small samples. Um, and then in conclusion, the sandwich is another variance estimator like OLS that works under more general assumptions, which can be often be more useful in the real world. Um, R isn't just a data visualization language, but a highly functional and easy to use statistical modeling language. Um, Often there are packages, uh, R has packages that solve common issues in statistics that many people may not know about. I didn't know about sandwich for a while. I'm sure many people don't know about it. And I'm sure there's a lot of other estimators that I don't know about and other packages I don't know about in R that are in R. And it really makes it easy to create uh, and solve statistical modeling problems, but it doesn't always make it clear how it happens. I didn't know how sandwich worked, even though I'd used it previously. I didn't know how it worked until this pro project. Um, here are my citations. Thank you.